Hey guys, what's up? Apple Hot Touch Reviews here, and the iPhone dev team has just released a new Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 4 jailbreak to jailbreak the new Apple 4.2.1 firmware and 4.2 firmware. So guys, this is important. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your device running on the 4.2 firmware. Now keep this in mind, let me bring this up really quick. It's the dev team blog, and it says Thanksgiving with Apple, and this is their latest post. Guys, if you have the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 3GS, the older iPhone 3GS, older boot ROM, and the non-MC model type iPod Touch second generation. This means that you guys have a completely untethered jailbreak. Everything's fine. You guys will be able to jailbreak 4.2.1. Now, if you guys have a newer device such as the iPhone 3GS newer boot ROM, the iPod Touch second generation newer MC model, or you guys have the iPod Touch third generation iPhone 4 or iPod Touch fourth generation, you guys will this will be an untethered. I mean, this will be a tethered jailbreak for you guys who have those devices. And I'll post that all in the video description below in case you guys don't know what I'm saying. But just to let you guys know that. Keep that in mind. Newer devices are tethered. Like older devices such as the iPhone 3G, older iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch second generation are all, all untethered. So guys, keep that in mind when you before you start this jailbreak. All right, so let's get officially started here. As you guys can see, you guys need the new Red Snow. So just go to this link right here. Uh, here's the iPhone Dev Team blog. Scroll down a little bit, and if you guys have the Mac, download it for Mac. Click on one of these links, and if you guys have it for Windows, download it for Windows. And you guys will need to download the 4.2.1 firmware for your device, or the 4.2 firmware. Just download the 4.2.1 from the Felix Buns website, and I'll post that in the video description below. And just download that, save it to your desktop. And also, I get a lot of questions asking how to download it properly. It, and people are saying that it downloads the zip file. What you guys need to do when you guys go to download these IPSWs, you guys need to download it from Firefox. Internet Explorer, for some reason, I don't really know why, but it downloads as a zip file and it screws everything up and all that kind of stuff. So download it as, from Firefox and it will uh, download it as an IPSW. IPSW sorry. Alright, so once you guys do that, we're going to open up the Red Snow folder. And as you guys can see here, it says Red Snow application. Just double click on that. And let's open it up. Alright, let me close that really quick. Alright, as you guys can see here, it says Red Snow 0.9.6 B4, which is beta 4. Uh, welcome. The iPhone dev team made this, guys. And that's basically what it looks like. So, what we need to do first is click right here where it says Browse. Click Browse. And we're going to go to our desktop. And we are going to find our firmware that we just downloaded to our desktop or firmware that we just downloaded to a computer from Felix Bruns. So it is the 4.2.1 for my iPod Touch second generation. And I'm going to click open. And then it will say processing firmware. So let's just wait as it processes the firmware. This usually doesn't take too long, usually. But sometimes it can take some time. All right, so guys, is this a newer fixed model? So is this an, an MC model of the iPod Touch second generation? That means if it is an MC model type, you guys are going to need to click yes. If it's an MB model type second generation, you guys click no. And what you guys do to go test that out is basically you go into settings, general, and about, and scroll down. And if it says MB or M MB or MC and a whole bunch of letters, so if it says MC, you're an MC, click yes. If it says an MB, click no. So I'm an MB, so I'm going to click no. And let's just click next. And then it will say locating IPSW, preparing jailbreak data, all that stuff. Let's just let this load really quick. This part usually is really quick. But it depends. Alright guys, so then you'll get to this screen. It says, please select your options. So if you guys want a custom boot logo, let me find it right here. Uh, you guys will have to download one from a website. I'm not really going to get into that today though. Uh, if you guys want to install Cydia, which is basically jailbreaking, click install Cydia. That's how you jailbreak it. So you have to click install Cydia if you guys want to jailbreak it. Uh, now, if you guys want a battery percentage, which is basically a little percentage uh, at the top right hand corner of your device that shows the battery, how much is left. Uh, home screen wallpaper for devices that don't have it. And then multitask. You guys check all that. I'm just going to uncheck all of that and just install Cydia. So I'm going to click next. And you'll get to the screen. And it says, please make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. If it's not off, plug the device into the computer first. So guys, plug your device into the computer right now. And iTunes may pop up. I already exited out of mine. But if iTunes pops up, just exit out. Slide the 
cancel the sync and all that kind of stuff and turn off your device so I'm gonna turn off my device right now and slide the power off and we'll just wait for my device to turn off alright so my device is finally turned off now what we oh, there it is again that color scheme thing I finally found out what it's from but it pops up every video uh, I'm just not gonna do anything right now but it pops up every video that little window so sorry about that guys so my device is off what you guys need to do is put your device into DFU mode now now then just click next and you guys don't have to follow these instructions to enter DFU mode I'll if you guys want me to post a comment in the video description I'll make a video on how to put your device in the DFU mode because some people do have problems and it ends up screwing up the jailbreak and all that stuff. So I'm, you don't have to follow the directions. I'm just going to put my device in the DFU mode right now. Hey, just take your time, guys. These are just a, this is kind of just a guide. This little thing window right here to put your device in the DFU mode. So you guys, are, like I said, you don't really need to follow it. So I'm holding down the center, okay, and I'm in DFU mode. Uh, my screen just flashed white. And you guys, you guys' devices may do that too. It's uploading second stage and waiting for reboot. And okay, and I'm just gonna exit out of that. Uh, all right, uh, all right. So the rest of the process takes place in your device. You guys are done. Now, some of you guys, I think you'll get a whole bunch of code running down your screen. Uh, it seems like a whole bunch of code. So let's just wait for that to upload and you guys can exit out of red snow if you guys want to uh, it's really your decision and there it is again this may pop up a couple times guys just to let you know alright so let's just finish this jailbreak and this part could take some time it usually doesn't take too long but like I said it could take some time so um yeah so that's basically it, guys. That's how you jailbreak your device running on the new iOS 4.2.1 firmware. And my device is being jailbroken right now. That's all I have to do, guys. If you guys need any help with this, leave a comment on the video box below. And I'll try to help you as best as I can. Or send me a message that's a lot easier. Or go to my channel, and at the top of my banner, you'll see a contact me form. You guys can always send me an email, and that's a lot easier. That's all you have to do. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers and follow me on Twitter. See ya.